The Mobo Triton Pro is the ultimate full-sized three-wheeled cruiser. The innovative rear-wheel steering system and an ergonomic recumbent design is perfect for leisure rides at the beach, around the neighborhood, and anywhere else adventure awaits. This unique, exciting, and easy-to-ride trike is low to the ground, with a freewheel mechanism and a smooth pedaling motion. With no balance required, riders can relax, experience nature, and exercise with peace of mind. Built with the quality you can trust, this stylish cruiser features a comfortable cushion seat, a safety flag for optimal visibility, caliper handbrakes, a maintenance-free chainless drive, and a heavy-duty adjustable steel frame that fits riders four feet and above. Take the Mobo Triton Pro for a cruise and start your adventure today.
Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630. Today I want to talk about adult tricycles, tricycles for adults. I've got our Every Journey tricycle right here. This is actually an electric version, but <clears throat> all the same principles will apply um, to the standard version versus the electric version. Few things I want to talk about. Um, obviously, a lot of people choose tricycles for many different reasons. One of them may be, um, you know, balance concerns. Another issue is for hauling things around, um, or you know, they're also kind of fun. Uh, I like it if I just want to get out, not having to worry about being up on two wheels. You can really just not have to worry about holding the handlebars too much, other than to steer a little bit here and there. So, they are super fun. Now. Couple things I want to point out. The great one of the great things of a tricycle is the mounting and dismounting is quite a bit easier. Obviously, on a bicycle, you need to be able to get your feet to the ground while you're on the seat. The one thing about a tricycle is, you know, while you do want to be able to get your feet on the ground, when you stop, as an example, if I'm here and I stop and I can't get my feet down, you still cannot have to balance so you know on a normal bicycle you've got to be able to get your feet down to the ground to really be safe in this case the bike's not going anywhere so long as you push the brake down you're good to go um, and then you could just sort of you know slide forward and get off the seat so the other thing to look for is if, if mounting and dismounting is challenging for you you obviously want to look for a really low step through height so we actually have two models, the Body Ease tricycle and the Every Journey tricycle. The Body Ease tricycle actually has a little bit lower of a step over height. So that's going to be better um, for shorter riders uh, or people, again, that maybe have some more balance concerns. On this particular bike, I would say anyone about 411, 410, as low as 410, 411 is, is okay to ride this bike. If you are shorter, if you are 410, 411, I would just want to make sure that you are comfortable mounting and dismounting. Um, you know, one tactic is you can step onto the pedal and sort of push yourself over. Um, you know, another option again is you can step through. Then when you're here, you put your foot on the pedal and then you can get up to the seat. So I would say even somebody 4'9 would probably be okay. But again, I'd want to make sure that you're comfortable getting on and off. Um, and for 630 tricycles, definitely the Body Ease tricycle is going to be better for shorter riders. So other than that, the only other thing you need to be sort of careful on with a tricycle is taking turns. On tricycles, sometimes if you take a turn too fast, you can actually pop up on two wheels. So tricycles really are not meant for fast-paced riding. Um, if you have some need for speed, please, I think two wheels actually would be safer. Um, but again, you can go, you know, I've taken this up to about 15 miles an hour, but on turns you need to slow down to definitely, you know, about four or five miles an hour. And it also helps to just lean into the turn a little bit. So you keep the weight coming in so the wheels don't pop off the ground. Um, Again, which is why I say this is if you're riding a tricycle, you just want to be safe on it and you don't want to have to be cruising around turns and, and really uh, going fast. Now, if you're going to go on a dead straightaway, it's okay to go 15, um, but make sure you slow into the turns. Again, on a normal bicycle, you don't have to slow down quite as much into the turns. So the other thing is you see some tricycles nowadays with different thickness of tires. Uh, to some extent, you know, it's a personal preference. The thicker tire is obviously going to grip the road a little bit better. It's also going to drag a little bit more, so it might make it a little bit harder to pedal. We use a standard 26-inch tire. This is actually the same tire off the, uh, the Every Journey, um, single, normal, normal Every Journey, standard bike, two wheels. We like it because they're a little slicker and they roll a little easier, but they're still thick enough to grip the road and um, thick enough to give the balloon effect of a soft ride. The, the fatter tires, again, they'll be even softer, but they're gonna sink into the road even more and make it even a little bit more difficult to pedal. And 
again, shouldn't matter too much if you keep your pace very leisurely, but it's just all things to consider based on your own athleticism, um, how much energy you want to exert, things of that nature. Uh, the other thing to look for is the gears. So the, these are seven speeds. Both our uh, tricycles are seven speeds. Single speeds are a popular option. Uh, I think single speeds are great if you really just want simplicity. Uh, single speed is perfect if you're going to be flat ground five miles an hour or less. Um, it'll be simple, less to worry about. You're not really concerned about speed. Maybe you're riding less than a mile or two miles. It's a great option. We did a seven speed because we wanted to make ours a little more versatile. You still have that single gear, the first speed if you need it, but this is going to allow you to go a little bit faster. So we just wanted to give a range of speeds to, to um, accommodate a range of riders basically. So, you know, you can get this bike going a little bit faster. You could take this up minor hills. When I say minor, again, taking a tricycle up a hill will be challenging. You're talking about a lot more weight, a lot more rubber sticking to the road. So all things to consider. Um, but again, if you're looking to ride maybe two, three miles on the tricycle, I would suggest having um, seven speeds. It's going to give you the variance in gears. It's going to make it a little bit less tiring on your legs. Um, yeah, something I enjoy. The other thing, I mean, obviously tricycles come with different types of baskets. Um, kind of depends on what you're using it for. You know, if you're really going to haul stuff, if you are looking for a tricycle to haul stuff, there are some great options out there with different configurations, um, you know, different types of racks that you can put on the back. We have a standard rectangle rack. You can actually fit quite a bit in here. Just remember anything you put in here is just going to make the pedaling a little bit harder. So if you are going to be hauling things, or let's say you want to bring your dog, I see a lot of dogs going in the rear basket. I do recommend the gears. Um, it's going to make hauling things quite a bit simpler. The last thing I wanted to point out, I almost forgot, is the brakes. So if, if you plan on going more than say six, seven miles an hour, I think it's important to have dual um, front rear handbrakes, um, either disc brake or uh, pad brakes, caliper brakes. You know, the reason is, is you've got a lot more to stop, a lot more weight. You want to make sure you've got a good braking system. I would say if you have a single speed trike, you could possibly get away with a coaster brake, but only, and I say only, if you're riding on flat ground and you're only riding five miles an hour or less, you could have a coaster brake. If you're gonna do any sort of speed above five and you really are gonna need to stop that bike quick, um, handbrakes are the best bet. I think for the most part, disc brakes are overkill on tricycles, um, you know, unless you're doing speed racing. I think the caliper, brakes with the pads is going to be just fine. They'll grip the wheel enough. Um, yeah, um, you know, so just all things to consider and think about. Other than that, then it comes down to, you know, comfort and riding position. The cool thing about this trike is we are using our um, Every Journey geometry, which is uh, proprietary to us, the super comfortable upright riding position with that sort of forward pedaling design. You can see by sitting here, my back's totally straight. My arms are relaxed. Um, you know, it makes it nice for a tricycle. I'll take this down to the beach every now and again. It's just, it's nice to just, you know, not worry about balancing and, and feel comfortable. And then you can throw tons of stuff in the back. So that pretty much, um, you know, summarizes adult tricycles. If you guys have any questions I didn't address today, please comment below in the video. We'll get back to you. Uh, any questions around adult tricycles, 26 inch tricycles, um, let us know what you're looking at a tricycle for. Don't forget, we have a 365 day return policy. Um, so if you try a bike, buy a bike, you don't love it, you can always send it back within 365 days. We've got the tricycle category on the top of our website. Um, in addition, we have an electric version. You can check that out. And don't forget, you can take our body fit quiz and we'll help fit you to the correct bike. The tricycles are even on there too. So if you're looking for a trike, you can take the quiz and we'll find the best one for you. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride.